Hey guys and welcome to this lesson where we are going to convert metric units. Okay, so what am I talking about? Well, first of all, let's look at that word metric. Metric comes from the word meter. Okay, and uh, you know what a meter is. A meter is a standard unit of length. Okay, so meters are what we measure length in. And a meter in South Africa or in England or in America is the same distance, the same length. So it's a standard unit, a standard international unit, standard international. Now, if you were to international, if you were to say this in French, standard international, oh, there we go. Cool. Standard international units. If you were to say this in French, it would sound a little bit strange, but something like uh, Le International Standard Unit. I don't think I pronounced it even close to correct, but um, that's where SI comes from. It's French for standard international unit, like a, a shortened form of that. So an SI unit is a standard international unit that we use obviously anywhere in the world. It will have the same uh, measurement. So meter is the standard unit of measure for distance. And we call it now the metric units, um, just based on that word as a standard unit. Okay, but let me get on from there. Here we have actually um, a bunch of standard metric units. And um, there we get, for example, Kelvin. That's what we measure uh, temperature in. We've got seconds. Um, or let me rather do this. Seconds, do, do we do time. Calvin is temperature. Okay, so obviously here we have that uh, M represents uh, meters. And meters is what we measure distance or length in. Okay, then kilograms. Kilograms is what we measure mass in. And then we also have CD, which is probably something you've never heard of before. It's called candela. I don't know if I pronounce it correct, but this uh, measures uh, lum luminous intensity, luminous intensity. So that's just how bright something is. Okay, luminous intensity, then mole. Okay, mole you might have heard of before. That is the amount of substance. Okay, the amount of substance. So how much there is of something. And then we have amperes. Amperes. And that measures electric current. Okay, electric current. There we go. Now, these seven represent the seven most basic metric units. And none of them can be written as uh, a measure of the other ones. For example, we know that we can measure velocity or speed is meters per second. So here we see that velocity is actually measured as some relationship between two of these, meters and second. Another example might be kilograms meter per second squared. Okay, this one actually has its own symbol which we call newtons and we'll get to that a little bit later if you don't know what it is but that's newtons is kilogram meters per second so newton is not a, a, a basic or an elementary a metric unit because it can be writ written as a, um, a function of the other units or some other units so let's go in the next video have a look at how we do we actually convert from units like uh, kilograms we can get to just grams or maybe units like um, uh, kilonewtons or um, hours to seconds that's in the next video